Hi everyone, welcome to part one of Drawing Desserts. For our Wayne Tebow inspired project, we are going to be choosing a dessert to draw and later we'll be able to color it in with oil pastels. So this is an example of a bunch of different desserts that you can do. Um, you are not limited to these desserts, but these are probably the best options to choose for this project. Um, these are all desserts that can be made to look 3D with coloring techniques. So we wanna stick with um, some desserts like the ones that you can see here, okay? So today I think I'm going to start with the various types of cakes that you can make, okay? So I'm gonna move this out of the way and um, you will be able to draw, if you'd like to sketch first before you go on your final paper, that's fine. But I'm going to start right here on this paper just so you guys can see how to draw desserts. Um, I'm gonna start with a simple birthday cake. So the birthday cake I have here has some frosting, some candles, and a little bit of detailing too on the side of the cake, a little bit more frosting. So to start with a regular round whole cake, I'm gonna draw like an oval kind of shape. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is make two parallel lines, which means two lines that are side by side. So one on this side, one over here, okay? And then I'm gonna make a curved line to connect these bottom two lines. Curve, you don't wanna do straight because cakes are 3D, they're gonna be round, so they won't have a flat line, all right? And then now you can go in <clears throat> and create some extra details that you want on your cake. So sometimes uh, cakes have like roses on the side. So if you do like to do like flowers or something like that, you can. To do a rose, you can do like a spiral kind of line and close it. So I might do that a couple times. All right. And a couple extra petals. And then I'll connect them kind of like I did before. I won't get too into all the all the details, you all can decide how you would like to design your cake. Uh, but this is just a basic cake, a whole piece of cake, no um, pieces cut out of it, no layers, it's just simple like this. Um, you can do candles on top, right? So candles are just like rectangles, skinny little rectangles, all right? And like a raindrop shape will give you like the flame of the candle and they're connected by a little wick, which is just one straight line going down, okay? Um, frosting can just be some wavy lines going around the top. And you can double that up so it looks a little bit thicker. Going around the top and then go in and erase. So at any time in this video, if you feel like you need to, you can pause and follow along. You do not have to draw every dessert that I'm drawing. I'm just showing you how to draw some different ones. So this is a cake, okay? The next one is the cake with a piece missing. Okay, so just like that. So we're gonna draw the same cake, okay? So we're gonna do an oval top. Okay, it's not a perfect circle, it's kind of an oval. We're gonna do two parallel lines, so two lines that never cross, they're just side by side. And then we're gonna close that up with like, looks like a smile line, like you're making a smile, but it's just a curved bottom line. Okay, so now to get the effect, that makes it look like it has a piece cut out of it, like this one does, you're gonna find the halfway point of the top circle. So I would say maybe about right here. And usually when we cut cakes, um, we like to make them um, like a line down the middle and across the other part and then into pieces. So we're gonna put our dot here and we're gonna make a triangle without the bottom line. So two lines going out like a triangle. All right, now you're gonna take these lines and go straight down. And then to get that effect, 
like there's another triangle down here, you are going to make another dot. You can make it anywhere. I wouldn't put it right in the middle. I think that's too far back. Maybe about the, about like right here. All right, and then you're gonna do the same thing. Draw two lines like a triangle. All right, and then I'm just gonna erase these lines. They're dots because they're too dark and cakes don't really have dots on them like that. All right, and then now I'm gonna make a line that goes straight down and I will erase my little guided lines that I don't need anymore. All right. So that's how you make a cake that looks like it has a piece cutting out of, of it. All right. Now you can go in and you can make details inside the cake. So sometimes cakes have layers or filling. So that gives that effect. And you can decorate it like how I did frosting, things like that. We're not adding color yet, so do not add color. Okay, so that's just one example of how to make a cake with the piece missing. And now if you wanna make the actual piece that you cut out, if you wanna to choose to just do a slice of cake, we can do it just like this. So how I start is I make a triangle, a sideways triangle. Okay, so there's my side. And then I'm going to make um, a line going out from the bottom and the line going out from the top. And then I'll just connect it. Okay, so it gives you that effect of the piece that you cut out, but it's just laying on its side. And then again, same thing. You can decorate it and color it later how you would like to. Um, I like to put these lines in it because it looks like different layers or different fillings. Like maybe this is like a red velvet cake with like a raspberry filling, something like that, just to give you an idea, okay? So this is the slice of cake, all right? So, so far we've done the birthday cake, cake with the piece missing, slice of cake, and the last one, it's the biggest one, it's the wedding cake, all right? A lot of people love the wedding cake. It's really fun to make. And you already know all the steps that you have to do in order to create this. So you're gonna make basically three different sized whole pieces of cake, all right? So I'm gonna do an I like to start at the top, so I'm going to make my smallest one. I'm going to do the oval shape, two parallel lines, and then closing it off with another curved line. Now, to make this the top stack, I have to add another cake underneath it. So I'm going to make another oval shape, so I can go right through this if I want. All right, two parallel lines. and close it off. I can leave it at two tiers if I want. Tiers means layers. So I've got one cake layer here, one cake here. Okay, that's two tiered. To make a three tier cake, or we call that like a wedding cake, you'll now make another oval shape, two parallel lines, and close it up with the rounded line down here, okay? Um, now you'll go in and you can erase anything you don't need. So I don't need to draw through my cake, so I can erase that. I might um, add some details, so like ribbon, um, sometimes you see on wedding cakes, so I might add a thick ribbon at the bottom. I might do some flowers like you see here, so maybe I'll draw some flowers. It's up to you. You can leave it plain too and just do details with frosting. So maybe I'll have a flower up here. And then maybe um, down here I'll have some like wavy lines we call them. Right? Maybe this is frosting. Okay. But all you're doing is picking a dessert you want to do drawing it in pencil, but do not add color yet until we learn how to use oil pastels and colored pencils, okay? So for today, just pick your dessert. This is just a video of showing you how to do different types of cake. In the next videos, you'll see all these other desserts that are right here.